Hard clams are important to the people and the ecology of the inland bays. Every year, recreational clamors harvest hundreds of thousands of clams, and commercial watermen harvest millions more to support local seafood outlets and restaurants. A hard clam is a simple but amazing creature. Round with a thick blue-gray shell, they live in the bay's sediment using a siphon to capture algae from the water which they then filter across their gills. An adult clam can filter 10 gallons of water a day. A clam can begin to reproduce as early as one year of age and can live to 40 years of age, assuming nothing eats them first. People, seagulls, and cow-nosed rays all enjoy eating hard clams. The Center for the Inland Bays has partnered with the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control to study the population of clams in the bays. The DENREC project leader Mike Bott discusses the project. And the overall project goal for this is to look at the numbers of clams in the bay, uh, where they're located, their distribution, and the size classes we have. Uh, and it's kind of just a continuation of surveys that were done approximately 30 years ago and there's just a long gap uh, in the record so we're trying to get out and get a, a good idea of the amount of clams we have out there and where they're located and um, how often they're setting her. The study is conducted by counting the number of clams and other bivalve shellfish on a 500 yard grid within the bays. A buoy is dropped to mark each intersection of the grid. A specially made suction dredge, operated with a powerful gas pump, is used to suck up the sediments and organisms within a one meter plot. So we're going to be taking the venturi dredge and taking all the sediment down to a depth of at least one foot uh, to collect all bivalve less shellfish. Scuba gear is used to operate the dredge underwater. The material is collected into a mesh bag attached to the dredge. The bag is emptied in the boat and shellfish are sorted, counted, and measured by species. have here is about average for a square meter which is approximately 39 by 39 inches and uh, you tend to see a lot of these larger clams uh, but in certain areas you will find real good sets of, of young young of the year clams or clams that have set in the last two or three years. 13.6 yep. but by the end of the survey we're hoping to uh, have a general idea of the total population out here in the bay uh, and we're also trying to find out is there a pattern maybe to the, the sets. The previous surveys have shown that um, they always seem to be larger numbers of clams, which is making people think that maybe these uh, every 10, 20 years there might be a bumper crop of clams just supporting the bays for these long term periods. And this is just a, the beginning of hopefully surveys that will continue on in the future so we can kind of try to uh, define those trends, and which might need to be every five years or so, go out and do one of these surveys. And then in the future, we'll be able to determine the overall patterns. The study is made possible by a grant from the Center for the Inland Bays and its partnership with the, Department, with the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control. For more information, visit us at inlandbays.org.